We're in the wee hours of 410A refrigerant equipment being installed, being sold to homeowners. If you're seeing this, if you are a homeowner or someone that is in the market for heating and air, I want to clear up some misinformation. There's a lot of it out there, but there's one that's being thrown around a lot. A one that's being thrown around by professionals in our industry, surprisingly a lot. This whole video is meant to clear up some of that confusion. During the recording of this video, we are in those wee hours. We are in the final days, if you will, of 410A equipment being sold here in the United States. And because of that, we are seeing new refrigerants be introduced introduced to our country and our continent in general. There are other parts of the world where some of these refrigerants have been used for years. I think that's important to know because if you're a homeowner that's concerned about some of these refrigerants, hearing things about these new refrigerants, just hearing that they've been used overseas, let's just say that other countries have been the guinea pigs here. They tested all of these refrigerants and the equipment and how safe they are before we ever laid hands on them. So I think that's important to note. But the biggest thing that I want to clear up, the biggest piece of misinformation that I want to throw out there, and that is there is no propane in these new A2L refrigerants. And that's the one. That's the thing I keep hearing. I keep hearing other pros say it. I actually had a comment the other day. It's not the first one, but just recently, a couple of days ago, I had someone comment and talk about the propane that's in these new refrigerants. It's just simply not there. If you are reading stuff online, if you're hearing other people saying otherwise, they are very misinformed. There is no propane in these new refrigerants. Now, these new refrigerants are mildly flammable. We've done other videos showing how flammable or unflammable they are. Voila, candle is burning. I will take some R32 again. And I will try to ignite it. Oh, didn't work. I would argue that they are very much not flammable in comparison to say R290. What is R290? That's propane. Propane is a refrigerant. It's used in lots of different refrigeration. If you were to go to say a bar or a pub tonight, there is a chance that the beer cooler behind that bar has an A3 refrigerant in it, maybe R290. And that is a highly flammable refrigerant. And if you want to be super technical, it could be argued that the refrigerant we are using Using right now, 410A refrigerant is flammable. It's not highly flammable. In fact, when you look at the classification chart where they rank refrigerants and how toxic or flammable they are, 410A is classified as an A1 refrigerant, meaning low flammability, if not no flammability. That's what A1, A means non-toxic, 1 means low flammability. But technically, in a perfect scenario, it can ignite, not blow out windows, not combust and, and blow up buildings or things like that. But it's considered an A1 refrigerant, but again, technically it still is flammable, right? Low flammability, but still flammable. In fact, I'll even throw this out there. You may know this, maybe not. One of the new refrigerants being introduced to our market, R32 refrigerant, is in 410A refrigerant. In fact, 410A refrigerant is 50% R32. And so again, I've done other videos that dive into that. And there's one video I did called Five Facts About R32. If you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend checking that out. But at the end of the day, if I have to scream this from a mountaintop, I have to do this video, whatever, there is no propane in R32. There is propane refrigerant. There's R290. And on the flip side of that coin, again, these new refrigerants, R32 and R454B, the two new refrigerants we're seeing introduced to North America in an array of products. They're both A2O refrigerants and neither one of them, R32 or 454B, have propane in them. So if you, again, if you're hearing that, it's incorrect. If you have a question on this matter, if you have a comment, please leave it below. And what I'll do, if you could do me a favor, if you've gotten any value out of this, hearing that there's no propane in these A2L refrigerants, there's no propane in R32, there's no propane in 454B. If you've gotten any value out of that, you could hit that subscribe button and also hit that 
like button on this video. And in return, what I'll do is I will do my best to reply to every comment left on this video. A lot of folks are concerned about the mildly flammable refrigerants. A lot of folks are concerned about them being introduced to the market and they're new and there are going to be technicians that are working with them that this is all new, right? There are some concerns to be had. And in fact, I did a video where I talked about how we need to be serious about these refrigerants. We need to make sure we're doing all the things we're supposed to, ventilating our confined spaces and work areas and so on and all the other things we need to be doing to be safe and being serious. But I don't think we necessarily need to be fearful. We need to be serious, but not fearful. What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear it. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about the truth behind HVAC capacitors and what I think you need to know about them. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.